Most people think of cinnamon as a cozy sweet spice for lattes and pies, but this stick of bark is doing more than just making your kitchen smell like the holidays. So let's break it down. Cinnamon comes from the inner bark of the cinnamomum trees. There are two main types that you'll find in your kitchen. Type one is Ceylon cinnamon, AKA true cinnamon soft, floral, and delicate. Then there is cassia cinnamon, a little bit bolder and spicier and what most grocery stores sell. But no matter the type, cinnamon brings heat, sweetness, and a layered aroma that comes from some wild compounds. At the center of it all, cinnamaldehyde. So what is cinnamaldehyde? It's the main compound in cinnamon oil. It's what gives cinnamon that warm, sweet, spicy smell and flavor. Cinnamon also contains these following compounds. Eugenol, which is a spicy clove-like warmth. Then we've got linenol. We've heard that one before in black pepper and it's floral and sweet. We've also got caryophylline, which was also in pepper, which gives it that earthy, slightly peppery vibe. Then we've got coumarin, which you find mostly in cassia cinnamon, which is a sweet vanilla scent. These compounds are volatile, meaning that they're very fragile and can burn off if you heat them for too long or too high. Is cinnamon polar or non-polar? This matters because it's how you unlock its flavor. Cinnamon is mostly non-polar. That means that it likes fat more than water. So if you want those deep, warm flavors to really show up in your dish, you gotta bloom it in oil, butter, or even ghee. Think of it like this, infusing it into warm milk for a drink, toasting it in fat before adding other ingredients, melting it into caramel or syrups. But if you toss cinnamon in water and hope for magic, you'll get a faint ghost of a spice. Weak tea, literally. Wait, are there polar parts in cinnamon? You did say mostly. Sure did. Yes. While cinnamaldehyde is nonpolar, cinnamon also contains tannins, water soluble compounds that give slight astringency and color, polyphenols, mildly polar antioxidants, and sugars and starches that naturally occur in the bark and are water soluble. So even in plain water like tea, you're still extracting aroma from the volatile oils via heat, flavor from polar compounds, and color from the tannins and pigments. But to get the full bodied round cinnamon hit, especially that warm spice note, you want a little fat, heat, or alcohol in the mix. Okay, so let's talk about ground versus the whole stick. Think of ground cinnamon as instant access. It disperses flavor fast, but it also loses potency fast. Whole cinnamon sticks are your slow release spice bombs. They hold flavor longer and are great for simmering in rice or syrup and cocktails or clarified drinks. Cinnamon isn't just cozy, it's a spicy science in a stick. And now you know how to wield it.